Welcome to today's lesson, boys and girls, and we'd like you to look at the two activities that have been set. The grade 1s and 2s, we'd like them to do the bubble activity, and then the grade 3s, we'd like them to be able to do the second activity, which is the princess and the frog. So we've got a princess and the frog, and we've got the bubble activity. This shows the work done by the foundation phase in the third and fourth week of school using bubbles. <coughs> Go to tools, and then I want you to go down, and over here, go to this monkey, and the monkey represents creativity. You're going to go on the bubble, launch app, and then I'll set it as a to-do for you guys, and you go to the first one, you says make the bubble move up, so you click on it, and then you... You, if you don't know what to do, you can watch this video and it'll tell you. So you say, make the bubble move up. Now, I, there's a blue thing over here called bubble. That's the object. They call it an object. So you hold down your left mouse button and you drag. And look how that's become orange. It's become, no, that's yellow. And you release the mouse button. And then you go and you can see there it says up, down, left, right. So you go up. Then you play, you go over here to this play button, and look, up, and it says next challenge. And then you go over here with your mouse, your cursor, click on the next challenge, and you can close this, and it says when you click on the button, make it disappear. So, okay, so when... When, now look at this, when clicking on the bubble, then the bubble must do what? Disappear. Now this one says up, so it can't be that one, down, left, right. And this one says hide and show. Which one must I choose? Hide. Hide, brilliant. I knew you'd know that answer. Let's play our code. Okay, when I click the bubble... When I click the bubble, it must go away. There, it's gone. Okay, but look over here. There's still another bubble. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to make the bubble go up. And then when I click on it, it'll disappear. So bubble up. Now watch. It's going up. There, it's going up. But when I click on it, it'll go away. Oh, I didn't make it go disappear. Oh, here must be hide. Sorry, guys. You told me the right answer. I didn't even listen to you. There we go. It's going up. Now, if I click on it, but my eyes are so bad. There. Oh, I got it right. In this activity, we click on the corresponding color and make it disappear. So this one says, when you click a bubble, a different bubble disappears. Can you fix it? So it must be, when you click a bubble, a different bubble disappears. So all the bubbles are going up. Up, up. Pink bubble is going up. Blue bubble. And then I go, when I click on red bubble, the blue bubble goes. That's wrong. When I click on the red bubble, which bubble must go away? Red. red. So I must choose red bubble. Then when, when I click on the green bubble, pink bubble, which one must disappear? Pink bubble. And you go on and you go like that. When I click on the, what's this one? Green bubble, the green bubble must disappear. And when I click on the blue bubble, blue bubble must disappear. And when I click on the, okay, let's see if I can make them disappear now. Wait, click that one. Oh, there, it's working. Next. I'd just like to show you how the end of the activity is shown. That ends the challenge. That says finish. When you go like that and you see that, that means you finish. See if you guys can do it. Right, so there we go. Go through all of those challenges. And you can even add more bubbles. Look over here. You can make more bubbles. Yeah. So you guys can make two bubbles and play around and explore. You are learning what's called computer coding. And I think you ought to give yourselves a hand. Yourselves a hand. <laughs> right, excellent. Go ahead and show me the...
All right, I'm going to just be showing you the next activity that we're going to do. So you need to listen very carefully. Hopefully this is going to get everything in there. And you're going to see we're going to the princess and the frog. And here's the different activities. But you click OK. And I'm going to show you using a timer. So I'm going to go after every two seconds. You need to just watch the board. If you want to make the frog go left, it's after every two seconds the frog will go left. And I'm going to go after every three seconds, I'll, or I'll make the princess go right. So you're going to find that the frog's going in the opposite direction. Now remember, it's after every two seconds, and after the frog, the timer must go after every three seconds. So they're going to be moving one, two, then the frog goes left. And they're going to be moving. So let's show you that. If you look at the princess, you can see she moved one second after the frog, and they're moving past each other. Now, because they're moving past each other, nothing's happening as they touch. And we want to see a collision event. And a collision event is when the two objects touch. So let me show you that. So I'm going to drag in the collision event. Are you seeing collision? The frog collides with the princess so the moving object the frog who's moving hits the princess and then we want something to happen to the frog so we're going to go the frog hits the princess then the frog must go up and now we're going to bring in a collision detection for the princess the col princess collides with the frog and therefore we're going to make something happen to the princess the princess goes and we'll do the opposite direction to the frog down so the frog goes up and the princess goes down on the collision event when they hit each other and i'll show you that in a minute so watch if i play it i go click play to run our code and automatically after two seconds look the frog starts moving touch they touch each other and that clicks the uh, the collision event and they start going up and down so the frog and the princess are activated when they touch each other on the collision event when they collide with each other so guys when you do the princess and the frog activity which you will do after the bubble activity then see if you can do some of this code in it all right and that's everything related to that Thank you for your support and we urge you all to go and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we hope you enjoyed the video.